It's time for Friday Night Super Rugby Pacific from Allianz Stadium in Sydney, where the New South Wales Waratahs are hosting the unbeaten Chiefs in round five action. So it is Brad Slater on the money with his first throw of the night. And they spin it away. Weber in the midfield. Plenty of players in motion out wide. It needed to go one further to the right. And it was well and truly on. Weber heads that direction now. The dummy and run brings the first try. And it's easy as you like for Bryn Gatlin. It couldn't be better scripted for the Chiefs, forcing a turnover against the Waratahs and off the back of their aerial discipline, their first 22 entry of the night. Comes in looking to add another two to his all-time tally. No problems for McKenzie, and it's 7-0. Having a sniff again at the football stadium. Gordon, he's done it so many times for New South Wales. He reads, he steals, and he scores the try. Well, have a look at Jake Gordon. This is practice, this is in system, this is what they want to see happen from their captain and number nine in behind. He's seen it time and time again from Gordon. Donaldson draws through the equaliser at 7-7. Finn out, scrum half, Kane, good ball away for Peter Gus, Sol Kula. Walton put a pressure on Gordon now, but... Initially OK, then you've gone the second time. Conversion attempt, now 48 back. Sends it, and it will have the legs, and it will not have the direction, and it stays 7-7. Seven, seven. Is it 70% of possession? 74 unbelievable statistics. That is very fatiguing. Yeah. The Waratahs have absorbed wave after wave of Chiefs attack that have stood firm bar one occasion and at the break it is 7 7 at Allianz Stadium. Unforced errors from the Waratahs. The Chiefs with a hit and hope. Mars will take it. This one. In defence, McKenzie was wide right with his last shot this time round. The target finder is spot on, and it's the Chiefs who take the lead 10 7. McKenzie, oh, hammered by Latu. Latu got all of McKenzie on that occasion, but it's a fresh penalty advantage here. Takiaho, McKenzie's okay. Takiaho still going. Shot. Weber out the back, finds Nankerville. Infield he goes, and there's the try from that hour. It was brave from the Waratahs, but it was well constructed by the Chiefs. They probed and prodded with backs and forwards intermingling as a top team in the competition can. Chiefs got good pressure on the Tars last time. This time around, they jump. They just bun it towards the line, and Jordy Way's blown it up. He's blown it up early. The Tars are celebrating. It's on the board. Well, that's how you change the pace of the game. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. You're walking into a line out. You think it's a static moment. As soon as Lightu touches the ball, boom, not even a lift. Don't even invite the risk. In a swing it back and it is good off the boot of Benny D. And it's 17-14 and we're inside the final quarter. Ball's available. Stevenson grubbers it in behind and it'll be a try. It'll be a try. A second one in the end for Manarawa. Well, they've gone toe-to-toe, -to -toe, these two teams, in the last 10 minutes. And it's the Chiefs who kept their head and identified that the Tars had all of their players except Jake Gordon in the front line. 14 in the front line, defending their own line right throughout this game. Oh, 
Chiefs knock it away. And they stay unbeaten in 2023 in a slog fest. Full time, the score 24 points to 14.